one of the greatest heretics to ever walk this earth. Yes, anti-Pope John Paul II. This monstrous heretic unlawfully decreed in certain special circumstances, such as the prescribed prayers for unity and during ecumenical meetings. It is allowable, indeed even desirable, that Catholics should join in prayer with their separated brethren. Vatican II, Unitatis Redintegratio, Decree on Ecumenism, Part 8. A categoric heresy. And there is no need to look too far to find the evidence of this heresy. Yes, available on the Vatican's own website is Mortalium Animos Encyclical of Pope Pius XI on Religious Unity. Given on the 6th day of January, on the Feast of the Epiphany of Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the year 1928. Extract. It is clear that the Apostolic See cannot on any terms take part in their assemblies, nor is it any way lawful for Catholics either to support or to work for such enterprises. For if they do so, they will be giving countenance to a false Christianity, quite alien to the one Church of Christ. How can a church present two opposing teachings and yet its followers don't blink an eyelid? This video could go on endlessly with evidence of John Paul's heretical ceremonies, meetings, assemblies. But in short, I point here at one example. A meeting of John Paul II with the Jewish community. Here is seen John Paul bowing his head during a heretical Jewish prayer, where Jews are praying for the return of their Messiah. By being present alone is a mockery, heresy and mortal sin. But to bow to such a prayer is an acceptance of this heresy and also a public rejection of our Lord Jesus Christ as true Saviour and Redeemer of mankind. Open your eyes to the apostasy of Rome. Francis the heretic continues the works of this apostate church with more fury than ever before. Visit KamarianChurch.org There will you discover the true Vicar of Christ, Pope Peter III, the one true holy Palmarian Catholic Church, instituted directly by God,